Hello, and welcome back to the living room. Although this video, we're gonna be in a lot of rooms. Well, I'm gonna be in a lot of rooms. Don't know about y'all, but we're starting in here. A few weeks ago, I did a video where I replaced these switches with smart switches, the uh, Lutron Cassettas. And at that time, as I was dealing with the really crappy wiring that was done inside those switches, I made some comments. I also, by the way, didn't do everything like exactly kosher. So in today's video, we're going to be working with wiring again, and I'm going to do it more the right way and teach you the right way to do things. Well, because today we're going to be working with outlets, and outlets are far more dangerous than switches. Well, because I've worked with switches all my life. I have no problem with switches, but outlets scare even me. So I'll show you how to do it the right way. Why am I working with outlets, you might ask yourself. Well, if you remember recently, I also got a new TV. Which, by the way, this is from a playlist called HDR on my channel, which is available for public view. So you can go to that playlist, and there's a whole bunch of HDR videos. So if you have an HDR TV, then I highly recommend you get this playlist and, and probably subscribe to some of the channels, but you're, I think you'll like it. It's, it's basically, it's the dem, like the demo loops in the, in the stores. I talked about a specific channel, uh, 8K videos, HDR in that video, but this, there's a whole bunch of other channels also in this playlist, including 8K videos, HDR. So enjoy that. Anyway, why am I talking about this TV? Well, because after I got this new TV installed, my cleaning lady came, and when I got home after she had gone, all of these things, all of these electronics here, were non-functional. And I have uh, uninterruptible power supply battery backup things from APC, which had run down, so the power had, we, I had lost power over here. Well, I fooled around, and it came back, and so I forgot all about it. Well, then, a week later, she came again, this week. And after she left, all these, all these outlets were, were non-functional non again. And I fooled around, messed around. Well, so then I started watching some serious, uh, doing some serious YouTube video watching, and I discovered that it is possible, nay, probable <laughs> that you can, a, a, a bad outlet can cause all the outlets daisy chained after it to lose power without tripping the breaker. See, the breaker wasn't being tripped, so I didn't know what was going on. So I have spent the last several days running this down, and in my studies. I, I went out and bought all the proper testers and everything, which I'll show you later when we get around to actually doing stuff. And I started, well, it turns out, I watched one video and they said, when you're checking this stuff out and you're seeing which outlets are on which breaker, he said, most good electricians will have maybe five outlets daisy chained on a breaker and, you know, at the most 10. Well, I have spent the last several days tracing, and the breaker that these outlets in this room are, where all of my expensive electronics reside, are daisy-chained. So there's three outlets in here. They're daisy-chained to the four outlets in the dining room, which are daisy-chained to the four outlets in the guest room, which are daisy chained to the four outlets in the office where the rest of my expensive electronics live, like my Origin PC. Also on UPSs. By the way, this is why you should buy UPSs. There are 15 outlets on one breaker, and, and it's all, basically all the most expensive things I own are on that breaker. So after watching all these videos and seeing all this stuff, uh, basically, what I'm going to have to do is start replacing outlets up and down this chain. Now, it's not the, the these outlets pro, or may be fine, although I'm going to replace them. You may recall when I, when I installed these switches, I said, 
because I'm a little compulsive, anal compulsive, and now that these are white and all my other things are, 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 are beige, I may have to replace all my outlets too. Well, God heard me and now I have to replace all my outlets because they're daisy chained together. And as, 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 we're, as we're replacing an outlet, I will go through and explain what the problem is and how it happens. Oh, this is Hot Wheels. This is the Hot Wheels PS5 game. This is a video on, on the, that I, I have on my playlist that's just gameplay of the Hot Wheels PS5 game in HDR. Pretty cool. Anyway, so we're going to go away. Well, I'm going to go away. And then, well, not to you. To you, it's just going to be instantaneous. And then I'm going to be in another room replacing an outlet. So, and then I'll, I'll, I'll explain what's going on and how this all works. I will see you in the guest room because, well, I'm starting with the outlet my cleaning lady plugs her vacuum cleaner in and out of because I think that's the outlet that's causing the problems. It may not be. Again, there are 15 on the chain. I may have to replace all 15, but I'm going to start with that one and see if that fixes the problem immediately. I will probably then go on and replace them all because as you recall, well, if, again, if not, go watch this video. Uh, these things were not all wired correctly. There were grounds missing. And again, I buy 15 chain. I'm thinking there may be other problems. So I'm just going to replace all my outlets. But I'm not an electrician, so you should definitely not do what I do. But I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Hello. Welcome to the floor of the guest room. I'm starting with this outlet because... This is the outlet where my cleaning lady plugs in her vacuum cleaner because she may also use, there's another outlet over there she may also use, but it's, it's these two because this is conveniently located near the office, the hallway. She can get a lot of rooms by plugging in here. So I'm thinking, she'll, she won't be here again until Tuesday. On Tuesday, I'm going to ask her, I'm going to double check to make sure so I'll replace all these outlets until I solve this problem. Now, I promise to tell you about tools you might want to get. This is a great tool to have. Here, I'll show it to the little camera. By the way, I am, I'm probably going to be using the split screen technique that I've used in a lot of my videos. And I know some of you love it, and some of you hate it, and some of you just think it's okay. But... I think so you can get close-ups of what I'm working with. This is the circuit tester and you press this button here. There it's on. And now we come over here. That is a live wire right there. Not live, not live. And of course this is the ground. Oh look, it, it flashes blue. Don't know what that means, but it doesn't do it anymore. Anyway, there, there are your, there are your, this plug is live. So this is a good little tester because there's no contact. It's, it's, it's non-contact. If you can look at the end there, you see it's, it's cut, the, the wire itself is encased in plastic, so it doesn't actually make contact. So it's perfectly safe to stick it into things. Although, by the way, I'm, I think I'm supposed to say, don't go around sticking things into your outlet. So anyway, this is one good tool to have. And by the way, this is the tool. This is one of the tools I used when I hit the breaker and went around poking it into outlets. That's is how I discovered that there were 15 outlets that got turned off when this when that breaker got turned off. This is this is a Klein Tools. There are other brands, but it's an outlet tester. And what it does is you turn it on. And you have a little, a little, a little screen there, and then you plug it in. And if that green light comes on, then the outlet is wired correctly. The hot wire is on that side, the neutral wire is on this side, the ground is on the bottom. This, this one is wired correctly, and that's what it says on the little screen. See, it says correct, and it says it's 121 volts AC. And it would, by the way, the professionals will tell you, always check both outlets because, and I mentioned this when I was working on the switches, sometimes the outlets are driven off of different breakers. 
like I had a switch I told you about when I was changing the switches, where one of the switches in the in the gang was on a different breaker, and I got quite the shock. So anyway, so this is good. So we can turn that off. But on these, by the way, if you're using a multimeter, you set it here to the V with the little tilde next to it because that's AC, the alternating current. And you set it on, this one you set on 200. A lot of them these days, you don't even have to set it. Just, you set it on voltage with the thing. But you're supposed to always do this one first, then this one. That is not registering 120 volts. Let's see what the lower plug registers. The lower plug registers 121 volts. There, now I finally got the top one. But you see, I think, this is why I think this is the bad outlet. Because you saw that a couple of times I plugged it in, it didn't say anything. For step two, we need to turn off the breaker. Because you don't, don't want to mess with these things while the breaker's on. Now you'll notice that down here I have written living room slash O for office. Which, by the way, looks suspiciously like the living room overhead, which I put when we were doing the lights. But the slash just lets you know it's living room slash off. So that's that. Well, I have now turned off 15 outlets. So now we will do our testing again. No power. No power. Zero, zero, zero. No power. See, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. No power. Step one, we have to take off the switch plate. And exactly as I suspe suspected, here is the problem. Do you notice we have the two white wires that are on the silver screw side, which is where they belong. And we have the two black wires, the hot wires, on the brass screw side, which is where they belong. But they are not put around the screws. They are jammed in there. Now, if you're an electrician wiring a house, you're getting paid by the job, not by the hour. So the faster you can get all these outlets wired up and approved and ready to go, the sooner you get your money and the sooner you're out of there, which is all well and good, except for one thing. Now, it is not illegal. It, it, it is code. It is Code is acceptable to do this. But how these sticking the wires in work is there's a little blade on a spring with a spring inside. And when you stick the wire in, the blade with the spring pushes on it, and then it makes it hard to pull the wire back out, and that's hold, what holds the wire in. Except, and here's the, here's the big problem, that little thing on that spring is your point of contact with that wire. If, if the spring loosens over, I don't know, the 30 years that this outlet has been in the wall, then that thing could become intermittent. And if it became intermittent, what do you think would happen? Oh, sometimes outlets wouldn't have power. And the thing is, it's often not this outlet that would have the problem. It's coming in on one side and then going back out on the other down the daisy chain. Well, if these little wires get loose, sometimes it won't go back out. So this outlet will have power and work, but it will be the cause of the outlets farther down the daisy chain not working. These are proving so difficult to remove, which by the way means they, this, may, this outlet may not be the problem because if there was a loose spring or something, they might pop right out. But I am going to cut these. Well, as you can see here, these connections on the side, they, actually this, this outlet is in remarkably good shape. I'm thinking it's not 30 years old. Because I mean, it's, there's no dust in here. It's clean, which means they may have had a problem like this before and had an electrician come out and replace a bunch of outlets. Now, I am not going to replace it with this kind of outlet. I'm replacing it with a Leviton outlet, a decorator outlet, which is square. 
Now it has the thing, but I'm not going to mount it that way because the better, the best way is around to use these, these terminals, these, these screw terminals. Now the green terminal is the ground terminal and I have the ground ready to go here. Okay, so we're grounded. Now, remember the white wires go on the silver terminals. You want to make a hook in the wire to go around the screw terminal. There we go, get it hooked on there. Silver screws are for the, for the neutral wires, the white wires. The brass screws are for the hot wires, the, the line wires, the hot As long as you get live wires on the brass and the neutral wires on the silver, it doesn't matter which is top or bottom. Because if you'll notice on the side, these screw terminals are actually connected. So... They're both actually making contact with both outlets. There we go. Now our job is to push it back in there, which by the way, is not as easy as it looks. You have to get a little bend in them. Not going in even. And this is why if you want it done right, you get a professional, because as you can see, I have it at a slight angle. And I have a feeling when I go to put this on, yeah, that angle is going to be a problem. Okay. Well, that looks like crap. Okay, well, that looks terrible, <laughs> but it's the best I could do. Hot. Hot. Correct. Correct. Okay. So I just spent a lot of time replacing an outlet, poorly, I might add. But I'm thinking, I was thinking it was this one because of the cleaning lady. But again, it could be that one. That's how you replace an outlet. Hello again. So I am here in this void because I have spent several days, well, it's actually been almost two weeks, but I, I have replaced a whole lot of outlets all along the chain. And of course, the one closest to the outlets that were having the problem, of course, turned out to be the, pro turned out to be the issue. Now, I don't know how, how well we're gonna be able to see this. Let me, let me see if this thing will focus on this. See here, now you see the little wires sticking out of these other uh, three because they were still, I, I had to cut them off to replace. But I did not have to cut this one off because it was kind of, it was out. And you can see that there's some damage there to the out. And so it was, it was loose and it was just occasionally making contact. And my cleaning lady had stopped using this particular outlet because she said it sparked on her one day. Well, we know what that spark was. That spark was what was going on here that caused this damage. So I have replaced the outlet that had the problem. So my chain is now good. Now, unfortunately, I have gotten about half of the outlets replaced. So now the other half look wrong because they're beige. So now I have to replace all the outlets. So including the, the four in here, this is the office, you know, the, the, where I have my backdrops, my void space. So I have to replace the, the ones in here. I have to replace the one. So I still have many more outlets to do, but we're done with this video. Y'all don't have to worry about outlets again for a while because I won't bring them up again. But let, I'll just let you know I'm replacing a bunch of outlets. So I'll see you next time. Who knows what we'll be doing? Because just things keep popping up. I have a whole bunch of things in the pipeline. We'll see what, what pops up next week. Bye-bye.